Oh. Welcome back to the Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Uh, interesting choice of songs there, you know, and, and it was random. You know, we were trying to find an appropriate song. My, my friend, Rand Paul, a guy I've known for over 30 years, really the guy who I thought had, had the, the most uh, relevant message, honest message, and, and had the capacity to keep the other players honest, if not win. He's already out, so good luck with that. That check for liberty that you know, and for the Bill of Rights, it's not going to happen going forward. Great interview, by the way, that I had with Rand at usdailyreview.com that was on the national TV show, The Price of Business TV show, Sundays on the Biz TV Network. Check out that interview. But, you know, um, I was really sad to see him go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he truly, even though I don't agree with him on everything, he really did have the most constitutionally correct uh, attitude about federal government and its role in our lives, which is it should be limited. Yeah. None of the other candidates really uh, take it from that perspective. And so from personal liberties and from uh, from a, a, a shrinking government, you know, and, he was the and man. the realities. How do you how do you justify being the world's police with a twenty trillion dollar debt? How yeah, do you justify that's that? Right, that's and, right. And what is the payoff of being the world's police and being the world's subsidizer of uh, of dictatorships and and third world governments that despise us? It's kind of like the the uh, you talk about affluenza. You know, we got global affluenza where the, where the whole world hates us for what we do for it. We need an era of fiscal responsibility and reality that $20 trillion debts shouldn't be followed by expenditures like we can make money on on trees. Well, and so here's the interesting thing. Um, Rand Paul had to leave because he didn't garner enough support, whereas Bernie Sanders almost beat Hillary Clinton, I mean, by a coin toss, by six to be exact, in Iowa. So obviously he's got burgeoning support his, his support and is it's blossoming only one delegate behind her by the way that's right and so they're relatively you know speaking they're tied um and he both of them but especially he is for growing government and m- making wild claims about how he wants to give away free this and free that which means that 20 trillion dollar debt is only going to get bigger only and so Rand paul blinded by the light yeah. You know, why he had to leave. It's not his time. And we were talking about this uh, yesterday, yesterday. Mm-hmm. that when is his time? When will it be time for someone with a constitutional, strict constitutional vision of government to uh, and its role in our lives to be that man, that time? When is that going to happen? I'm writing a column uh, for my my nationally syndicated column. Uh, shows up in Huffington Post and a lot of other places. But I'm 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 going to talk about you know right candidate, right time, wrong electorate, <laughs> right candidate, right time, wrong electorate. Because yeah. he is he's a right candidate. It's certainly time for him, if not past time for him in terms of realities. But the wrong electorate, and it's the electorate that would go with Bernie Sanders. So now, I, I'm 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 very sad about his departure. I, I'm telling you, we're all blinded by the light right now, and the the light is showing us that the the vast majority of young people in the United States want to go in a socialist direction. Yes, they want the government to ha- hold their hands and to take care of them. From cradle to grave, they want us to be Western Europe. But a lot of that is because the government has so crippled the ability for people to climb up the economic ladder, either you know throwing barriers like higher minimum wages or regulations that prevent people from being hired in the first place. Kids feel like they have no choice but to pursue government. Well, but it's also media that that really and a has school this, system. It's a purveyor of the the victim mentality. And and so everybody feels like a victim, like they are owed something. And they've been victimized, and uh, and so the whole personal liberties thing takes a back seat to what can government do for me, and what can government do for me now, and that's why Bernie Sanders is surging in the polls, and and we should all be frightened. Anybody who who has any lick of sense should be frightened by this. But we've all been blinded by the light, and we're all feeling the burn right now. And I'm sorry, Rand Paul had to leave so early. Yeah, me too. All right, when we come back, more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here. It shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. Interesting interview about minor league baseball up after this on The Price of Business.